Hey everybody, this is Scott. You know, when I did my previous post, I made two mistakes. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and correct those mistakes. So with that, let's get started. Now the first mistake I made was when I was talking about the Vericoder. Now Nick over at Vericoder told me two things. Number one, that farting sound I alluded to in the previous video, that was because I, it's really from RF interference, basically the radio signal in the iPhone. So I went ahead and I turned that off. So uh, in my opinion, I thought the Vericoder had really the, the, the best sound. And uh, so I'm excited that it works. And turning off the, uh, the iPhone uh, telephone system, putting it into airplane mode, if you will, should make all the difference in the world. But Nick also told me something else, and I wanted to make sure you were aware of it. The Vericoder Mini Mic is not compatible with the iPhone 4. Now, they're working on a new solution to correct that. But Nick also told me that they're working on a new device that's going to have some uh, built-in electronics, and it's going to have an XLR capabilities. So that's going to allow us to really connect some uh, professional-sounding, professional audio equipment to our iPhones, so that's a key piece. But just so you know, you are actually hearing this recording through my Vericorder mini mic. So uh, if you like this, I think you're gonna be very excited about their upcoming product. Okay, so for the second mistake that I made is that I didn't have my stereo adapter plugged into my ZI-8. And what that meant is that with the lapel microphone, you were only getting a mono sound. I want to make sure that you get to hear the stereo sound so you can really tell the difference and really tell the quality difference between a wired stereo lapel mic and either the Vericorder or the Griffin or the built-in iPhone. So um, anyway, now you've got a comparison of what uh, really what a, a true lav mic should sound like. So let me introduce uh, another mic into the mix. You know, uh, before I was using the Audio-Technica Lav mic. Here I'm using the Audio-Technica Shotgun mic. And so I have this plugged in via the stereo adapter. It's the same distance from the camera. So uh, anyway, it's just another, um, uh, another microphone for you to get a comparison to. So there you go. Now you've heard uh, both the Kodak ZI-8 and you've heard the, the Vericorder mini mic. And uh, of course now you're listening to this straight off the iPhone. So uh, no microphones or anything like that. So you've got to, to compare three different types of microphones. Anyway, uh, thanks for allowing me to correct a mistake and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.